direction with it. I feel like uh, there's a need to uh, explain a little bit. This one got kind of weird. <laughs> Not my fault, I wrote it this morning. <laughs> when I was a kid, I always wondered about the connection between Christmas and Easter. And I wondered mostly if we weren't kind of uh, emphasizing the wrong thing. And if, uh, if we accept the idea of an omnipowerful, omniscient God, did he not know at birth how things were going to turn out? I have to assume that he did, and that he did it for a reason. I say that because line 12 here could get a little weird without it. <laughs> Seems like Christmas gets all the attention As if his birth was worth more than resurrection Are we confused about what is gain and what is loss? Or is it a manger just a little scarier than a cross? So we deck the halls with Easter bunnies A couple times a year and we try our best to follow Jesus in our springtime Christmas cheer. As we seek, seek the kingdom, we must look past the world. And we think about what it means to know that God knows everything. Jesus gave his life, showing us the way. And he died doing the same thing. So we deck our hall with Easter bundles. A couple times a year. We try our best to follow Jesus and his love with our springtime Christmas cheer. I wish you springtime Christmas cheer. 